Hi, in this video, we are going to learn partial fraction for repeated linear factor. When we have repeated linear factor, for example, like this, so we will write as many times as the power. For example, we have x plus 5 squared here. So we will write x plus 5 one time and the second time x plus 5 to the power of 2. Let's look at one example here. For example 8, we have 9 over x minus 1, x plus 2, bracket square. So according to the note, we're going to do a over x minus 1 plus b over x plus 2 plus c over bracket x plus 2 squared. So, the next step can be a bit confusing for certain students. Please pay attention. We want to combine them together by equating the denominator. So, for A, you will have to multiply x plus 2 squared for top and bottom. For B, you will only have to multiply x minus 1 and x plus 2 one time because they already have one here so this is x minus 1 and x plus 2 on top and then for c because it's already have x plus 2 squared so what is lack of is only x minus 1 and x minus 1 so if you read like this you're gonna have this this and this I'll write them all together you have a x plus 2 squared plus b x minus 1 x plus 2 plus c x minus 1 over the same denominator x minus 1 and x plus 2 squared. So be reminded that we only care to compare the numerator. So a x plus 2 squared plus b x minus 1 x plus 2 and c x minus 1. So when you're familiar enough, you can skip this step to this. So I have not enough space here. Let me copy it again here for us. 9 is equals to a x plus 2 square plus b x minus 1 x plus 2 plus c x minus 1. So we will let x to be the first root which is 1. I will get 9 equals to a 1 plus 2 square and the good thing is here 1 minus 1 will be 0 and also here 1 minus 1 will be 0 so I will only focus on finding a right now 9 is equals to 9a a is equals to 1 the next root is let x to be negative 2 so I will have 9 and the good thing is here will be 0 and here will be 0 only left c for us so we have c negative 2 minus 1. c negative 3c. c will be negative 3. We have found value of a and c. But we are running out of root right here. Recall that I say you can let any value. So the simplest one will be 0. And then 1, negative 1, 2, negative 2 and so on the easiest one will be 0 right here so we will let x to be 0 you get 9 equals to a 1 and then 0 plus 2 squared plus b that we don't know and then minus 1 
2 plus c negative 3 times with negative 1. So we will get 4 is equals to negative 2b and b is negative 2. So we found the value of a, b and c. To write our final answer, we will write 9 over x minus 1, x plus 2 squared is equals to 1 over x minus 1 minus, I'll put the minus in the middle, minus 2 over x plus 2 minus 3 over x plus 2 bracket squared. So this is your final answer. I'll leave example 8b for your own practice and here is answer for your reference.